Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you. Um, we'll make this relatively quick. Um, just, you know, the last couple meetings, we had some promotions, and then we had some swearing-in ceremonies for um, new police officers. Um, tonight, we got kind of a combination. So I just want to thank Chief. I want to thank um, their staff. And this is always a good evening for uh, Aronicoit, Aronicoit residents, and also the IPD. Um, it's always good when we see people promoted and uh, police officers uh, getting sworn in. It's always a good day for all. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing it, and I've done it a few times before, too. So um, I'll have Chief say a few words, and uh, we'll get going here in a couple minutes. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for the swearing-in ceremonies for Officer, Officer Josh Greenfield and Sergeant Andrew Wigdon. Tonight, our first swearing-in will be Officer Greenfield. If Officer Greenfield, if you and your family can join us up here at the podium. Officer Greenfield is a graduate of Aronicoit High School and holds a Bachelor's of Social Work from Mars Hills College. Officer Greenfield returns to the Aronicoit Police Department after a short stint with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office. Officer Greenfield attended the Police Academy at the Monroe County Public Safety Training Facility beginning in January of 2015. He joined the Aronicoit Police Department in August of 2016. During his time with uh, the IPD, Officer Greenfield received certifications in taser operation, crisis intervention, breath test, and breath test operator. He was also recognized with several awards during his first tenure with the IPD, multiple letters of recognition, Officer of the Month in November of 2019, two-time receiver of excellent police service, once in August of 2018 and again in August of 2019, as well as several platoon commendations and two letters of appreciation from Monroe County Stop DWI, one in 2017 and one in 2018. Officer Greenfield returned to the Renquist Police Department in November of this year, and we are proud to reinstate him to the IPD tonight with his family and friends. I, Joshua Greenfield I, Josh Tuttle. I, Joshua Greenfield Tuttle. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will defend the Constitution of the United States. And the state of New York. And the state of New York. I will force all, I will enforce all the laws. I will enforce all the laws. Of the state of New York. Of the state of New York. And the town of Aronicoit. And the town of Aronicoit. I will fulfill the duties. I will fulfill the duties. Of the rank of police officer. Of the rank of police officer. To the best of my ability. To the best of my abilities. I will serve. I will serve. Protect and guide. Protect and guide. The citizens of the town of Aronicoit. The citizens of the town of Aronicoit. I will obey all orders. I will obey all orders. Rules and regulations. Rules and regulations. Of the Aronicoit Police Department. Of the Aronicoit Police Department. Congratulations and welcome back. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Very good. Our next swearing-in will be for Sergeant Andrew Wigdon. Sergeant Wigdon, if you could join us with your family. Sergeant Wigdon is a 10-year veteran of the Aronicoit Police Department, transferring here in 2011 from the City of Syracuse Police Department, where he worked for three years. Sergeant Wigdon received numerous awards and commendations in his career, in his career while with Syracuse. Twice he was Officer of the Month. He had received two divisional commendation letters, two bureau commendation letters. At the IPD, his recognitions continued. He again received two Officer of the Month awards. He was the Officer of the Year twice, three excellent police services, and numerous unit commendations for his work in the Criminal Investigations Unit. Sergeant Wigdon was first promoted to investigator in 2015 and quickly became a leader within the CIU. He's always there to lend a hand to anyone that needs it and consistently goes the extra step, extra step for the victims to ensure proper closure for them. In addition to his awards, Sergeant Wigdon is a field training officer, hostage negotiator, computer voice stress analyzer, analyzer operator, excuse me, child forensic interviewer, forensic analyst of cellular networks, and a pre-employment background investigator. Upon, upon his promotion, Sergeant Wigdon took over the criminal investigation unit here at the Aronicoy Police Department. Congratulations, Sergeant Wigdon.
<laughs> We're good. Here, we'll but shift. I'm fine. We'll shift. Yeah, there okay. we go. <laughs> I, Andrew Winkton. I, Andrew Winkton. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will defend the Constitution of the United States. In the state States, of New York. In the state of New York. I will enforce all the laws. I will enforce all the laws. Of the state of New York. Of the state of New York. In the town of Veronaquay. In the town of Veronaquay. I will fulfill the duties. I will fulfill the duties. Of the rank of police sergeant. Of the rank of police sergeant. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. I will serve. I will serve. Protect and guide. Protect and guide. The citizens of the town of Veronaquay. The citizens of the town of Veronaquay. I will obey all orders. I will obey all orders. Rules and regulations. Rules and regulations. Of the Veronaquay Police Department. Of the Veronaquay Police Department. Congratulations. Thank you. Very good. Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, very proud of our, our IPD, the chief leading the way up there. And uh, thanks for everyone for attending tonight, and I appreciate it. Thanks for all your hard work and your dedication.
do it again. Uh, um, welcome everyone to the regular town board meeting, uh, December 21st, 2021. This is the last regular town board meeting of the year where the time is gone. So if everybody would um, join me in for the Pledge of Allegiance and stand, please. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Present. Here. 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 Okay, thank you, Barb. Uh, just a couple things. Little, um, we have three public hearings tonight, and then there's a public input um, sign-in sheet. So we got one for each, and then there's a public input sign-up sheet there. So I'm not sure, uh, obviously, which one anybody's there, but there'll be four sign-up sheets there, three for the public hearings and then one for the public input. Um, I just want to make a couple of remarks. Um, we, are going to go, we are going to have another uh, COVID um, test kit uh, distribution tomorrow evening from 5 to 8. I believe it's our third, fourth one. Um, and kudos go out to Bob, Kylie, Commissioner, and Deputy Commissioner um, Aaron McGee. Thank you for all that. It's been well received. Um, I, I think around the numbers, 8,000, I believe, somewhere around there. I know we're going to have one tomorrow night, then we'll see what we have left. But uh, you, done, you did a very good job, you and the staff over there, to have that organized, get it up and running. Um, and as well, and I want to thank you uh, for doing a great job with that. Um, before I get going here, I do have a couple of comments. I would like to uh, congratulate uh, Kimmy Romeo and Peter Weiner on their uh, re-election to the town board. And I would like to um, congratulate uh, Supervisor-elect Rory Fitzpatrick. Uh, congratulations to all. Looking forward to meeting, uh, working with all of you. And to our judges, uh, Judge Valentino and Jennifer DeVoe Whitman, congratulations on your successful election. Um, a couple of things I want to say personally. Um, this is my last meeting as acting supervisor. Um, I just want to just say a few thank yous to everyone. I mean, everybody that's sitting back there, Barb, Diana, I can't thank you folks enough. Um, when I came in here, uh, showing me a lot of respect. Um, I, I really uh, got a different uh, look on things sitting in that chair, the hard work, the, um, the dedication, the professionalism of all department, all department heads and all our employees. Diana, I can't say enough about your department. You guys... You pulled me out of a lot this, this year with our budget. We worked hard at it. Um, you don't realize how hard you work at a budget and the cooperation you need from everybody out there to get something uh, done. And I want to thank each and every one of you and all our employees. Professionalism, how hard everybody works in this town. Now, I'm a very proud to be part of it. Andrew, thank you. Um, you helped me out a lot. Uh, I, got, I think you made me a better town board member. And last but not least, Maria. What more can I say about Maria? She kept me uh, in line. You know, a lot of times when you're driving down the highway and you're bumping the road because you get on a double yell, that's Maria pulling me back in. I wish I had a nickel for every time she said to me, John, are you really crazy? Come on, can't do that. So I want to thank her. You know, she's done such a great job keeping me focused. Uh, my wife would like her to probably come and move in with us for a little while just to continue my focus. But I want to, I really want to thank everyone. Thank you. Um, and I really appreciated all the hard work that everybody continues to do. And I know we'll do in the future. Thank you, all the department heads. And uh, I really appreciate it. So that's all I have. Um, we do have public input. I, I apologize. Let me get the, let me get the sign in sheet. While he's walking back, I want to say thank you to Mr. Perticone for stepping in and doing an awesome job for these last six months. How about a round of applause? <clears throat> thank you. It was my pleasure. So I don't have anyone um, 
Let's see what I have public input. Here it is. Aaron DeRuder? Public hearing? Sure. Right now you are. And I'll call in case anybody forgot. But yeah, come on up. Just state your name and your address, please, for the board. No, I think that one, that one worked. That's the one right there. Hey. Aaron DeRuder, 4 Ontario View Street. Hello, everyone. Um, so, uh, as far as uh, I'm... I'm uh, well, I, you know what? Are you, you're here. I, I, I apologize. You're here for the speed, right? Uh, okay, yeah, because yeah, I, I, I messed up. My apologies. That's why you're I, here for the public hearing, right? Yeah, I don't want to okay. talk now. Yeah, you don't want to talk now. I'll get you up here in a couple, <laughs> I'll get you up here in a couple no, of minutes. It's, I apologize. It's okay. You see, I, I was ready to put my phone back in. I'm I looking do. at the public hearing. Here's the regular one right here. I do want to talk just maybe later. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll have you back up, okay? <laughs> um. I have Tony Ferrara sign up for the public uh, for the public input, but I don't believe he's here. So if anybody out there would like to come up and speak at public input, you're more than welcome. Okay, so we don't have anyone for public input. Okay, Barb. Thank you. The 2021 financial results as of November 30th. 91.7% of the year has elapsed and the town's total expenses, actual expenditures and encumbrances of 31,194,000 are lower than budget at 80.7%. Actual expenses are 29,425,000 or 76.1% of budget and encumbrances are 1,769,000 or 4.6% of budget. The general fund total expenses of approximately $18,871,000 are below budget at 78.9%. The actual expense expenditures total $17,934,000 or 75% of budget and encumbrances are $937,000 or 3.9% of budget. Encumbrances within the general fund include police vehicles, services related to the school violence prevention grant, contracted services for the reassessment project, and tree plantings and removals. Overall, the total expenses of, of the, the three highway funds are $5,098,000 or 90% of budget on par with the 91.7% of the year that has elapsed. Actual expenditures of $4,632,000 represent 81.8% of budget and encumbrances total $465,000 and account for 8.2% of budget. The costs are driven by expenses and encumbrances for gas, road salt, equipment parts, and road paving. The current library expenditures are $2,389,000 or 89.2% of budget. Expenses in the sewer fund of $3,272,000 are below budget at 78.7%, with actual expenditures equating to $3,121,000 or 75% of budget, and encumbrances at $151,000 or 3.6% of budget. Stormwater drainage expenses are approximately 58.2% of budget, totaling $544,000. Again this month, expenses excluding encumbrances for the town as well as the three major funds, the general fund, the highway fund, and the sewer fund, are less than the 91.7% of the year that has elapsed. The actual expenditure percentage exclusive of encumbrances for the town is 76.1%, the general fund is 75%, the sewer fund is 75%, and the collective highway funds is 81.8%. The general fund has received revenue of $20,818,000 or 92.7% of budget. Real estate tax of $11,800,000 has been collected. The town has recorded eight months of sales tax revenue in the amount of $4,418,000 or 92.8% of budget. The AIM related payment of $613,000 is scheduled for payment in December and mortgage tax for the first quarter of $272,000 has been received. Other sources of revenue received is 119.7% of budget and includes the sale of real property. 
At month end, the library has confirmed revenue of $2,644,000 or 99.6% of budget, 104.3% or $5,812,000 of highway revenue has been received. The sewer fund has received 99.8% of its revenue at $4,071,000. Stormwater drainage has also verified 97.5% of its budgeted revenue at $868,000. Regarding the entire town, $35,335,000 or 95.6% of revenue and appropriated fund balance has been received to date. Approximately $18,135,000 is from real estate tax. In addition, American Rescue Funds of $11,200,000, which is about half the total estimated award, were received in May. The use of this funding is restricted for the response to and the relief of COVID-19 and can be used to cover costs incurred through December 31st, 2024. To date, approximately $5.4 million has been allocated to projects. A special revenue fund has been established to account for these funds. This concludes the financial report for the month of November 2021. Okay, Diana. Uh, motion to accept financial report. Move. Second. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Approval of minutes. October <clears throat> 19th, 2021, the budget workshop meeting. This uh, set of minutes was tabled from the November 16th meeting. Do I have a motion? Um, this. Second. Second. Okay, any questions? Um, there is a date that still needs to be corrected. That's why the minutes were tabled. The date that was recorded in the minutes uh, on page 172 states that it's Tuesday, August 8th, 2021. Um, is recorded at least twice in this section that that date should have been um, Tuesday, October, excuse me, Tuesday, August 10th. I would like that change to be made. Do I have a motion on the amendment? Did she make the motion? I make a motion that the amendments will be updated with the correct date. I'll second For it. accuracy. I have a motion. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed. Opposed. So let me just clarify what just happened here. Um, just to clarify for the public, what occurred was a motion to council member to amend minutes of a meeting prepared by the town clerk. The town clerk prepares minutes of town meetings and then circulates them to the board for approval. The minutes reflect the town clerk's record of a meeting, but her minutes are not word-for-word -word transcript. Board members are free to seek amendment or changes to the minutes, but if the board cannot reach consensus or a majority vote on the changes, the clerk's record stands as draft form. So, Barb, these minutes will go into draft form. Uh, Mr. Supervisor, we still have an out outstanding motion to approve as drafted. Okay, we need a motion to approve draft. I think we already had a motion, Kimmy and Pete seconded, so we need a vote on that. So we're voting to maintain them as draft? Yes, we had a we had a motion to approve the draft as prepared by the town clerk. Then Council Member Freeman made a motion to amend. That motion did not receive a majority vote. We still have to vote on the original motion to approve. As written. And I will state again that um, Tuesday, August 8th is not a correct date. The date stated as August 8th would have been a Sunday, which we do not meet on. Okay, so it's in draft form, correct? We still have to call the vote on the first right, motion. I have the floor. I have the vote on the floor for draft form, correct? Yes, as originally drafted. You had a as originally drafted. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. We had a motion by Council Member Romeo, second by Council Member Perti or uh, Wainer. So if we want them to remain in draft form, we have to vote no. That's correct. Yep. So, all in favor? Aye. Opposed. Nay. Nay. Motion stays in draft. Okay, Barb. Okay. October 26, 2021, the special town board meeting, and that was in regard to the cannabis. Motion. Move. A second. 
second. Hold on, I'm still scrolling. Any quest? You got a second, Pete? Hold All right. on, I'm still scrolling. Still on the 19th. Hold on. God. Okay. Okay, I, I got a motion. I need a second. Did I just second? I thought I was yeah. second. You second? Yeah. Okay. Any questions? I'm just going to make a statement. Um, for the minutes dated Special Town Board on October 26th for cannabis, also for October 26th, budget workshop, also for October 27th, the Special Town meeting, Board meeting, adopting preliminary budget, November 4th, minutes for the public hearing on the 2022 budget, as well as November 9th, workshop meeting, November 9th, um, budget hearing, as well as November 16th, I will be a no vote. Um, the minutes are inaccurate, and I will not be approving them. Well, you didn't have to do them all at once. You could have done them individually, okay? I know, but I chose to do yeah, them all okay. at once. Okay, well, that's not the way it's done. Anyway, all right, we have a special town board meeting, the cannabis. We have a motion, a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Motion carried. Go ahead, Barb. Okay, October 26th, the budget workshop meeting. I have motion. Oops. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Motion carried. October 27, 2021, the special town board meeting, and that was to adopt the preliminary budget. Motion. Moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Motion carried. November 4th, 2021, the public hearing on the 2022 budget. Motion. Moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Nay. Motion carries. November 9th, the workshop meeting. Motion. Moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Motion carries. November 9th, 2021, the public hearing regarding cannabis. <coughs> I need a motion. Moved. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Motion carries. November 16th, 2021, the regular town board meeting. Need a motion. Moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Motion carries. Items for board action. Item number four, authorizing the appointment of a tree trimmer in the Arundaquite Department of Public Works. Can I have a motion? Moved. Can I have a second? Second. Um, let's see, Bob or... Bob, go ahead, please. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. The resolution before the board this evening would uh, promote Mr. Dominic Conti to the position of tree trimmer within the Department of Public Works. Uh, this posting was um, uh, posted uh, pursuant to uh, the CSEA blue collar contract. Uh, the interview com committee consisted of myself, Deputy Commissioner McGee, and uh, uh, Labor Foreman Scott Davis. Uh, Mr. Conti. Uh, has worked for us for uh, many years uh, and has been assigned to the tree crew for the um, duration of his uh, nearly five-year career with us. Uh, he is fluent in many different uh, vehicles, as discussed during the workshop, uh, and will be able to uh, not only uh, perform the duties of a tree trimmer in the field uh, during any uh, given day within the department, but also be able to uh, plow during the snow and ice season, which is upon us. So I'm very happy to put forth the name of Mr. Conti uh, for promotion before the town board this evening. Okay, any questions for Commissioner Kiley? Okay, I got a motion, I got a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number five, authorizing the appointment of a permanent full-time payroll clerk in the Arundaquite Human Resource Department. I have a, a motion? Moved. Second? Second. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, Jason? Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Um, this resolution would put forth the name of Denise Ramos for a permanent um, appointment as payroll clerk. Denise transferred to our department as an office clerk, too, from recreation. Um, she did train to um, learn the payroll. She took the exam, and she's ranked number one on the list. 
and I'm happy to put her name forward. She's been a great addition to the department. I would agree with that, and being number one on the list does not surprise me at all. I've gotten to know Denise and see her work ethic. It's second to none, so glad to have her. So I have a motion to second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion. Sustain. Uh, um, abstain. Motion carries. Item number six, authorizing an amendment to the 2021 library budget. Motion. Move. Second. Second. Any questions on this? I believe this is um, the addition of, correct me if I'm wrong, Bob, the uh, addition of um, units one, two, and three, correct, over at the library? That is correct, sir. Okay. Uh, Comptroller Marsh may be able to speak uh, better here, but I believe this resolution moves uh, monies officially designated by the library board to um, the operating funds uh, to cover the costs associated with the repiping of systems one, two, and three within the Irondequoit Public Library. Okay. All right. I have a motion. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number seven, authorizing the agreement with Sunset House for award and use of American Rescue Plan Act funding. I have a motion. Move. I have a second. Second. Any questions? I have a motion, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Motion carries. I just want to make a comment about Sunset House. I know some people, folks are here, and I see... Um, everyone here and I really appreciate the hard work you folks do and I know Andrea is leading the way over there so I really appreciate it I don't think there's anyone in this town that hasn't been touched by the Sunset House so we are very fortunate to have your organization and all you hard work and volunteers um, I know firsthand how important it is to families to have you folks so thank you and I'm so glad we were able to help so thank you, thank you. I appreciate it Declaring old audio, visual, and related equipment to be surplus property and authorizing its sale or disposal. I have a motion. Moved. Second. Second. Um, any questions? Um, you know, we, we went through this over the, uh, the workshop. Any questions or anything? So I have a motion second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number nine, authorizing the purchase of laptops for the Arundelquite Public Library and use of American Rescue Plan Act funding. Motion. Move. Second. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Motion carries. Item number 10, authorizing the purchase of CrowdStrike security platform and use of American Rescue Plan Act funding. I need a motion. Moved. Second. 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 Any questions? Uh, Kevin, you want to just touch base a little bit on this, please? Thank you. <clears throat> sure, Mr. Supervisor. This um, resolution represents the, the core security platform that the town is going to adopt for its digital infrastructure. Um, it's procured at a great discount off a state contract, um, 70 per, up, upwards of 70% off its uh, sticker price. And for what the value we're getting, it's, it, it's um, a good one to have and something we can rely on for, for the years to come. Okay, very good. Any questions for Kevin? I have a motion second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay, I will be voting as no on any more American Rescue Plan funding that does not go to directly help those who were affected by the pandemic. As stated in some of the guidelines by the United States Treasury that we should use this money for. Well, I'm going to make a statement because when we have any of these ARP funds, let me, let me, let me, I need, I got a motion a second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Opposed? Motion carries that. We have, and Diana does a very does very hard work along with our consultant Bonadio. Anytime any monies wants to come out of our ARP funds, they run by our consultant. Diana does a great job with it, so there's nothing here that doesn't fall under approval by them. So that's why we we bring it forward. So anything that's in here that's used by the ARP funds is approved um, by our consultant, and that's why it's here. 
So we will move on, Barb. Thank you. Item number 11, declaring surplus items and authorizing the sale of said items. Motion. Move. Second. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion I abstain. Motion. I'm a minister, so I have to abstain on this one. Okay. Item number Proof. 12. Approving an agreement between Wegmans Food Market, Inc. and Arundaquai Police Department for security services. Can I have a motion? Moved. I have a second. All right, second. Yeah, Chief, just want to give us a little update on this thing. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Uh, the resolution that's before the town board would authorize the use of the Arundaquai Police Officers at the Wegmans store at the Hudson Titus Plaza. Several weeks ago, Wegmans personnel were here to explain the need for that. Um, to the town board <clears throat> and also to use them and explain the metrics they use to track the incident incident at the store and asking for assistance. This is not unique to Aronicoit. There as they are there are partnerships between Wegmans and uh, the Rochester Police Department as well as the Gates Police Department. So this isn't just a, a one off for uh, the town of Aronicoit. This program um, had been in effect since June of 2020 and it was in effect until October of uh, this year but was uh, suspended at the time because the MOU that we were working under needed some reworking. Um, in the last few weeks, we've reworked that MOU. Um, it was drafted and presented to Wegmans. They agreed to it. Um, that MOU is, MOU is now before the town board for acceptance. Um, it's important to note that the officers assigned to the Wegmans store will not affect the officers that are assigned to the road patrol duties. This is an overtime detail, and um, Wegmans is covering the cost of everything, so there will be no cost to the town of Aronico. Okay, thank you. Any questions for the chief? Um, chief Allen, if you can repeat that last sentence one more time so that folks at home can hear. We, the town will not be paying, am I correct, that will come from Wegmans? Correct. There is no uh, thank you. cost incurred. Thank you. All right, I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number 13, authorizing acceptance of New York State Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services Grant in the amount of up to 25000 for the year 2018. Motion. Moved. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number 14, authorizing the purchase and installation of video equipment for the police interview rooms. Motion. Moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number 15, authorizing the purchase of one 2022 vehicle to be used by the Department of Public Works. Motion. Moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number 16, calling for a public hearing authorizing amendment of insurance limits in Chapter 214 of the Town Code. I need a motion. For public hearing. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number 17, authorizing the supervisor or acting supervisor to execute agreement for Monroe County Snow and Ice Control Services for 2021 and 2022. Motion. Move. Second. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number 18, authorizing the supervisor to execute an agreement for Monroe County all seasons work in the Monroe County rights of way. Motion. Moved. Second. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number 19, authorizing an amendment to the 2021 budget and the purchase of one 2022 vehicle to be used by the Department of Public Works. Motion. Move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number <coughs> 20, authorizing various change orders regarding Arundaquai Community Center and necessary budget transfer. I need a motion. Moved. Second. Second. Any questions? Pardon me? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Bob, you want to just uh, give a little explanation? Yes, this resolution would authorize the change orders through the duration of the community center project. The vast majority of these 
uh, are regarding and in relation to either contractual uh, negotiated items with our future landlord and or the reconnections of utilities cut and capped uh, in the demolition uh, work, which again is contractually obligated by the town. Okay, any questions for Commissioner Kiley? Okay, I have a motion, I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I abstain. Motion carries. Item number 21, authorizing the supervisor or acting supervisor to enter into a supplemental agreement for snow and ice removal on New York State roadways. Motion. Moved. Second. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number 22, authorizing the supervisor or acting supervisor to execute a participation agreement with clear results. Motion. Move. Second. Second. Commissioner Kiley, a little explanation on this one, please. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. I'm very excited to put this resolution forth to the uh, board this evening. Uh, this resolution would authorize the execution of a participation ag agreement with Clear Result. Clear Result is a subcontractor to Rochester Gas and Electric uh, who has a pilot program uh, at no cost to review um, a corporation or a municipality's fleet to see if any of those vehicles can be uh, green vehicles or electric vehicles or hybrid vehicles. Uh, as a result, uh, RG&E, uh, after some discussions on some other programs that they um, offer to uh, corporations and municipalities, uh, brought this up. We developed a committee consisting of myself, um, Deputy Commissioner McGee, our head auto mechanic and senior auto mechanics and Councilwoman Romeo, uh, and participated in a, um, a presentation regarding uh, this opportunity. This resolution would authorize the town uh, to participate in this no-cost um, uh, uh, opportunity to, to, again, review if, in fact, green vehicles, uh, be it 100% uh, uh, electric or hybrid, uh, are of value, could be of value to the town of Arondacoit long-term in the future. Okay, thank you. Any questions for Commissioner Kiley? I want to thank everyone for the work on this. This will be interesting. Uh, let's uh, we'll see what, what the outcome is. So I have a motion second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number 23, authorizing the application for and acceptance of $3.17 million worth of grant funding from the New York State Environmental Facilities Cor Corporation and Dormitory Authority of the State of New York. I have a motion. Move. Second. Second. Uh, Deputy Commissioner Aaron McGee, go ahead. Please explain this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. This resolution would formally accept the grant funding um, for the construction of the low pressure sanitary sewer project on Bayshore Boulevard, as well as the uh, pump station upgrade at Bay Village. Um, both of these projects were awarded through the Ready Commission, um, which is um, grant funding awarded at 95 cents to the dollar um, from the state of New York. So a, a great value to the town residents. So this would formally accept the funding and, and execute all documents to um, reimburse those uh, charges to the town. Okay, any questions? Good job. I have a motion. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number 24, authorizing an amendment to the 2021 Department of Public Works budget. Motion. Moved. Second. Second. Diana, you want to explain? Or, uh, Aaron, Commissioner, please. Sure. Uh, Deputy. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Sure. This resolution would authorize the um, movement of money from our solid waste budget lines in which we did not have to incur costs this year because of the switch in our town bid that allows us to not pay for the disposal and removal of woody debris. So this resolution would take that money that was allocated in this year's budget and move it into a contracted services tree line so we could move forward with planting more trees in the right of way. Uh, this would open the opportunity in 2022 for us to start a 
town-wide tree risk assessment survey, which I think would be, you know, a very valuable tool moving forward. Okay, any questions? I just want to thank uh, Deputy Commissioner McGee for the work on this. Um, very forward thinking, and I'm excited to help her work on it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your hard work. I have a motion, a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. I think it's 735 now, so we are going to have our, our public hearings. We have three this evening. Um, so I will, I will open the floor for the public hearing. I need a motion. Moved. A second. Second. All in favor. Okay, Barb. Okay. Public hearing number one on the matter of adopting a local law authorizing speed reductions on Boakhart Avenue, Brook Trout Lane, Ontario View Street, Seneca Road from Culver Road to Seabreeze Drive, and Suwillow Hills Drive from 30 miles per hour to 25 miles per hour. Okay. Um... Commissioner Kiley, please. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Just to give a little background before we take testimony from the general public, the Department of Public Works receives um, uh, petitions and or requests for uh, the reduction of speeds from residents, um, and throughout the year we collect those and then bring them before the board uh, for ratification uh, uh, and public input. We have a, um, a process at the state level which uh, only allows the town to lower the speed limit to 30 miles an hour. That is, pursuant to state law, the lowest that we can uh, afford the entire town to have a speed limit. Thus, the only other option we have uh, to reduce speeds on local side streets is to post them in a lineal fashion, uh, which is the lowest possible can be 20 miles, uh, 25 miles an hour, excuse me. As such, we received petitions and did uh, uh, traffic studies on the following streets. Um, and are proposing to reduce the speeds from 30 miles an hour on these roadways to 25 miles an hour. Okay, thank you. Um, any questions for uh, Commissioner Kylie right now? Okay, I have Aaron DeRuder finally. You're up. <laughs> I told you I'd get you here sooner or later. Just state your name and your address, please. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> back again right I, thank I, you I feel like I thought it, I, I should have thought of a better joke um, <laughs> uh, we've been here for three years uh, it's the greatest town in the world I'm sure of that and uh, I can also tell you that it's uh, the fastest town I've ever lived in and I've lived in a lot of towns um, so I, I really enjoyed seeing this come across uh, we worked hard to to get almost everyone in agreement on our street um, to lower this um, there's no street lights um, there's no sidewalks it's beautifully wooded, which is why we love our street, uh, but at the same time, um, extremely fast. And uh, lots of studies have shown that just a five mile per hour uh, decrease really could, could save a lot of lives. Um, I've personally witnessed uh, close to a dozen in the past year alone uh, near, near misses, I'm going to say. Um, and we're just uh, really excited to see this, and I, I think... Uh, that's going to definitely uh, make the neighborhood a lot safer. So okay. I appreciate their consideration on this. Thank you. No, thank you. Appreciate it. Is I don't have anyone else signed up. Would anybody else like to come up and make a comment? Sure. State your name and your address, please. Oh. Thank, you, <clears throat> thank you, Aaron. Alex Worth, 7 Ontario View Street. Um, there's, just, there's a couple of stats I wanted to mention, and then also um, the village of Pittsburgh right now is... Uh, in some kind of litigation with the, with New York State trying to um, win the right to reduce uh, arterial streets to 20 miles per hour. Right now, New York State only allows you to do that if you're a school or a park. Um, so I'd encourage the town, if that's something of interest, to get in touch with the village and see if that you can lend, lend a hand in any way. Um, and then the interesting stat is that at 20 miles per hour, a pedestrian has a 90% chance of surviving an encounter with a vehicle. If you just bump, up that, bump that up to 40 miles per hour, you have a 10% chance of surviving an encounter with a vehicle. So I think um, going from 30 to 25 is great. I'd love to be able to see streets such as ours with no sidewalks or uh, limited uh, sites, um, peripheral view, things like that, to be able to go down further to 20. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to come up and speak on behalf of this public hearing? 
No one else. Okay, I will make a motion to close public hearing. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, Barb. Item number one, amending the local law 222-52, authorizing speed reductions on Bocart Avenue, Brook Trout Lane, Ontario View Street, Seneca Road from Culver Road to Seabreeze Drive and Suillo Hills Drive from 30 miles per hour to 25 miles per hour. Do I have a motion? Moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion has passed. Thank you. And thank you for your input, gentlemen. I appreciate it. Mr. Supervisor, just yeah. to clar clarify, did we have any nays on that? On that but no, I don't motion. believe we did. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Our second public hearing. Let me make a motion to uh, make a motion to, for a public hearing number two. Moved. Second. Okay. okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Aye. Motion carries. Go ahead, Barb. Thank public you. Public hearing number two on the matter of adopting a local law to prohibit parking at all times on Beach Avenue. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Kiley. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. This resolution would prohibit uh, on-street parking on Beach Avenue from Washington Avenue to St. Paul Boulevard. Uh, this uh, location is uh, the site of chronic complaints during the summer season, uh, both to the Department of Public Works and the Ironicoid Police Department. As such, by installing a no parking on this uh, one-way section of road, we seek to eliminate uh, these frequent complaints to the town. Uh, just as a side note, this area has been posted no parking for years. However, it is not in our town code. Thus, we are uh, amending it to include it within the town code. Okay. I mean, I have no one signed up for the public hearing. I don't know if there's anyone out there who'd like to come up and comment on this, this resolution, uh, this public hearing. With that said, uh, motion to close public hearing. Move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number two, adopting an amendment, uh, Local Law 222-62 of Article 12 to prohibit parking at all times on Beach Avenue. Do I have a motion? Moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. okay, we have public hearing number three. I need a motion to open public hearing. Moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Public hearing number three on the matter of granting a special use permit for 720 Eastridge Road in a C business district. Okay, uh, Donna? Speak on this behalf, please. Sure. The applicant, Jeffrey Harrington, he proposes to operate a self-service wash and fold, pickup and delivery and commercial laundering on the premises 720 East Ridge Road, Rich Hudson Plaza. The location of the laundromat is the west portion of the former Duntire space in the plaza. Operating hours for the public will be from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m with a laundromat attendant on premises at all times during these open hours. Hours for staff only close to the public would be from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. for laundry work based on demand. Um, the Round Court Department of Public Works has reviewed the application and finds that the sanitary sewers in this area are adequate for the proposed laundromat. And the planning board at its um, November 29th meeting offered a positive referral to the town board for a special use permit to operate the full service laundromat as proposed 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. for the public. Okay, thank um, you. Uh, is the applicant here, Jeffrey Harrington? Come on up, sir. This is the applicant. Just give us a little background as well. I think Donna probably did a good job for you. Hi, I'm Jeff Harrington, and uh, Donna said it really well. Um, open to any questions, I guess, in regards to the to the matter. Okay. Do we have any questions from the board for Mr. Harrington? Anyone? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Okay. Hours of operation, sir, are till 11 p.m. Is that correct? For seven the to, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. at night. Is there a lot of 
use typically in a laundromat from say 9 to 11 p.m.? There can be, correct, yes. Interesting, I wouldn't have thought that. Now, how much square footage of that uh, done tire are you going to be taking up, Mr. Harrington? 4,120. 4, 000, about four, a little over 4,000? Correct. Okay. Okay. Okay, so have a seat, and if there's any questions from the public, uh, you can come back and answer them. Is there anyone here who would like to speak on behalf of this applicant? Anyone? Okay, anyone. All right, I'm going to make a motion to close the public hearing. Move. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Resolution 3A, regarding the State Environmental Quality Review Act compliance regarding a special use permit to operate a full-service laundromat at 720 East Ridge Road in a C business district. Okay, I need a motion. Moved. I need a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Resolution 3B, granting a special use permit to operate a full-service laundromat at 720 East Ridge Road in a C business district. Motion. Move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you for that. Mr. Harrington, welcome. Good luck. Okay. Okay. Okay, Barb, we are back to... <laughs> item 25. Okay. Authorizing a revised community center room rental fee schedule for the Department of Recreation. I need a motion. Moved. Second. Second. Uh, Katrina, please. Yes, thank you, Mr. Supervisor. So in April of 2021, um, the board approved a rental fee schedule for the community center rooms, or rooms at the community center, pardon me. And I am bringing forward that... Um, an amendment to that schedule so we can add the turf space so that we are able to rent that out to community members as well. Um, and that the rates were in your um, packet. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions? Okay, I need a motion. I got a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number 26, authorizing the supervisor or acting supervisor to enter into various contracts with vendors for youth, family, adult, group exercise, and senior recreational programming for winter, spring, 2022. Motion. Moved. Second. Second. Okay, any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I'm sure everyone's going to be looking forward to Little Chef Easter Bunny. That's you. <laughs> I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> Item number 27, approving the special event licenses for the American Red Cross to hold blood drives at the Arundhati Town Hall campus. I need a motion. Moved. I need a second. Second. Uh, we did change this too uh, for the campus. So um, it was mentioned uh, Council, Councilman Wainer maybe up at the community center. So when they... When they come and ask us, I'm not sure we have dates right now when they're going to do the blood drive, but that'll be taken into consideration. I talked to Katrina about it. She thinks she will be able to um, help them out up there at the community center. It'll be good to get folks into the new community center. So I have a motion. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. That right now is the end of our end of our board meeting but what I would like to say our next town board means we are going to have an organizational meeting on January the 4th at 4 p.m. Uh, we're going to have a workshop meeting on January the 11th we are going to have our regular town board meeting on January the 18th so um, I want to thank everyone uh, for my time here uh, ho happy holidays to everyone happy new year stay healthy and be safe and enjoy your families and loved ones okay I need a mom I need a motion to adjourn. Moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Good evening, everyone, and thank you.